Yeah. Hey, yeah. Pour her the bread as she too fly for water out the faucet. The shorty gorgeous, my Spanish little Farrah Fawcett. Smoke in the forest, she blow me like a Zelda cartridge. The gold edition, but no games, I'm a favorite artist. Dates at the shooting range, she picked the Glock 9. I picked the 45, man, I swear my shorty live. High waist bikinis, dreamy, I'm David Hasselhoff. I crush her heart up and speed off like a flying saucer. I love this girl, the tiny pieces on some Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm surrounded by all this water like a cherry farmer. In Ireland, you come visit me like I'm Bimini. The watercolor like the gift box at Tiffany's uh, I'm popping just like a summertime cookout Remember when I was the summertime lookout Spotted you from the roof In your eyes I saw truth Saw my future, saw my past, I saw you We have a special guest in the building a Reality star of MTV's show Washington Heights And rapper Audubon Okay, so Audubon, the first question I have for you is, how did you come up with this name? Audubon? Yeah. Um, Audubon is a is an avenue in, in, in Harlem. It's a well, it's it's not Harlem. It's like right. Cause Harlem kind of we have this debate Heights. where yeah we have this debate where like Harlem and Washington Heights kind of meet at like one at the cemetery on 155th right mm -hmm. so that kind of like what what separates it so audubon kind of starts in like 164th to yeah. 193rd just to kind of tap on yeah. that um audubon my, me and rodeo we grew up it's hard to believe we grew up going to church okay there was a place called the audubon ballroom yeah, yeah. right across the street it's, they got still got the facade here it's now yeah. bbq it's it's something no it's not it's a it's a museum type of thing now where yeah it's like a it's space a story, right and but, that's where i actually performed there malcolm x wow. that's where malcolm x was yeah, yeah. so yeah. It's, it's um it was real historic when i performed so when i heard crazy. the name waterborne obviously when i first you know came in uh, the appearance of you well before this interview right. i was like wow I, my mind automatically the, goes that goes yeah. that goes to the whole thing where like the reason why i got the name was like uh I remember I was going to, to like a, a battle type of thing or something, and I didn't have a name yet. And I was just like, I need to come up with a name. So I'm going. I saw all the yeah, so I was, but the thing is, that was on that, but also the thing was that, like, that's also where, like, I had my first fight. That's, like, where, you know, I've, like, had to sell right to right, that, That's yeah. why I've done yeah. a lot. It's taught me a lot. So I figured, how do I embody my neighborhood and, and, and represent everything that I want to represent in one name instead of like little something or young, you know, I don't, I don't, those, you know, I don't knock on that, but I just wanted to kind of separate myself and just be something like where I could represent my hood and kind of also who I am. So let's get into how you got picked up for MTV for this show, Washington Heights. I mean, I saw it and I loved how it incorporated a whole different look. Like, I feel like all the shows right now are Ratchet TV. You know, just drama. And what I really loved is because I'm Dominican myself, I loved how they showed our culture and how we are very family oriented people. Right. Like, we stick together. Right. And, um, you know, it showed the positivity and how you guys are all chasing your dreams. And I love the show and I felt like it should have stood on because it would have brought attention to younger, the younger crowds. Like, you know, there's people out here, they might not be rich, but they're chasing their dreams. They're living every day for right. their dreams. So, I want to talk about how you got picked up for that show. The way it came about was me and my friend, like Nelson, I told you, and, and Beck and, and Pedro, we, we were just sitting around, we had got a new camera, so we was like, yo, I wanna shoot, like, a, we shot a couple of music videos. Like, let's shoot something more, though. Let's do something on our neighborhood. It's never been represented, you know, like, people always talk about us, and rappers been talking about Washington Heights and getting just drugs from there. That's yes. all you know, I think, for, like, right. years. Right. That's all it's really known for, and I'm like, that's cool, but there's way much more going on, you know what I mean? So let's show that, you know what I mean? So I did, like, an open casting call, and nobody responded. So then I was like, I'm, I'm reaching. So I'm like, let me just holler at my friends and see if they'll be down. Like, we just hit them up and said, let's do a quick interview, you know what I'm saying? Sizzle, show the city, you know, show our town and stuff. And we partnered up with a branding uh, manager from Australia that Beck knew, a friend of ours knew, which is my, my boy's girlfriend, the guy who shoots the show. And it was like one thing led to another. Like, they saw it, they liked it, you know what I mean? Like, when, once the, he got involved, uh, Michael Moore is a big producer for documentaries. Mm -hmm. And one of his producers got involved with it. So then it, it was a wrap after that, you know what I mean? So what happened? Like, why didn't you get picked up for another season? Because you have to understand that it's, at the end of the day, even though, you know, change and all that, like, you know, people are willing to take risks, right? Because MCV was willing to take a risk with a show that they knew 
people weren't ready for, and that's exactly what happened. Like, like I want to, I want to, I, I, I can't blame MTV. Like, you know, what I mean, I don't know how much money they spent behind the project, but I know I saw my billboard up on Times Square. You know what I'm saying? I know I definitely saw commercials. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's who you blame is the people, because the people want to see the ratchetness, and they want to see that 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 totally made up, you know, drama. Like that's what they like. You know what I mean? Like they don't want to see. A reflection of themselves. They don't want to see the struggle of what they're going through. Right. Right. You feel what I'm saying? They, they want to see the, the, the shine, the glimmer. You know what I mean? Right. So it's not really to blame a reality show because people give the ratings. Like if y'all wasn't, if people wasn't exactly. watching, it, you know what I yeah, mean? So basically, yeah, yeah, what it was is that people were watching, but not enough people for them to say, we need to invest again on another we season. We live in a new era. Like the, the, the TV industrial complex is over. Right. Which basically means you can't put a, a commercial up and people don't necessarily buy it no more. Right. We're not watching TV no more. We listening to what the the, the, the people who's putting on is saying. Right. Like like if if Mo's a, uh if he's like a dude that's out in the parties and out doing his thing, if he tell me about a TV show or music or anything or a product, then I'm gonna listen to him right. more than I'm gonna listen to a TV show yeah, or, or, or anything. Right. Yeah. So that's where we at now. Like you know what I'm saying? This is a new curve now. So it's not necessarily that I blame the networks. The networks are gonna do whatever it takes to stay alive. They're gonna right. do whatever it takes to stay afloat, you know what I mean? So it's like, they have to move, they have to react to the people, you know what I'm saying? Like, they can try as much as they want to, like, try to think they know what people want, but that's because they've had years of knowing what people have done, they've seen it. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, from, since the start of MTV, they started reality TV. Since then to now, people like ratchet, they like fights, you know what I mean? And the problem with the show was that we didn't have enough internal conflict. Right. Like, we right. tight. Like, we, it's us against the world. Did like, they like, ever try to, like, get you to have it's not, that type it's of It's not that they tried, they was just, they would, it's not that they tried, because that's, we not actors. They would just uh, be like, you know, uh, you know, just talk about how you feel about this situation. And then it was like, it was up to us to decide what we wanted to do, you know, how we wanted to react to it. Right. Right. You know what I mean? So, it was a lot of that, because there was fights that we had with people in clubs and stuff, but they can't show that because then the people might sue us. We, there's no control of that, you know what I mean? So it's like, as long as it was fighting in between us, they know there's no suing going down, so it's all good. That's pretty much how it works. You know? We're going to a quick break, Water Boss. It's really a deep conversation. I'm going to take a breath. No, no problem. We're going to come back to a quick break. Not be loud, loud. Back with Water Boss. Come on back. <laughs> Sweeter than milk chocolate Lollipop all in her back pocket Throwback jersey on that John Stockton She funny, heard her joking around with her homies So I approached her like, listen, mind you don't know me But you soon will It's my love letter, I used quail Dine with me, drink wine, a three-course smell Roasted duck with the orange sauce, don't do veil Coming faster than the news rail uh, And we can fuck till you scream, Artie, please stop it But I pop the perk so your jaw gon' get brolic My freak side, I'm licking the peace sign I'm throwing you signals, we dip after a brief fly All this talking got me feeling like we really wasting time I'm just trying to blow a dub while I'm hitting it from behind Why can't I just get some hair while I'm cleaning out this nine? If she roll better than me, best believe the girl is mine She Fantastic sound. I think obviously one of the few guys, there's a couple out there that can really seamlessly go from rap to RB and not lose a credit, not lose any credibility. Sound great right. both ways. You're one of them. Talk about some of the inspirations that you use to kind of channel the music. I know we got Mikey J here in the building. He does his thing on a, on a dual level. But talk about just how you channel that artistic talent when you decide, when you go in the box or when you say, you know what I'm writing. Talk about what the inspiration you used to come up with fantastic music and fantastic sound. Um, I think it's, well, thank you, first of all. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's like just having an, uh, an eclectic palette. Like, like it's, I always, since young, was listening to a lot of different kind of music. And I was blending it without even knowing. You know what I mean? Like, I was, I, it's like kind of seamless for me because it's the way I hear things. You know what I mean? A lot of the times my recording process is like, I just, I'll hear a beat or I'll work on a beat and I'll just go in there and just start mumbling, you know what I mean? Just to get the, the flow, the melodies right. And then once I got that, I'll come in and throw the words in, you know? So it's like, if I'm listening to like, honestly, the person that got me writing more interestingly is John Mayer, mm -hmm. which is like, I when I heard him a long time ago, I was like, oh, 
He's saying he liked a girl in the most complex way you can say it. You know what I mean? And I was like, I need to say more by saying less. That was my thing. I'm like, yo, he's saying crazy. Like, he said something. I remember when it drove me crazy. He said, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm scared of getting older. I'm only good at being young. I was like, whoa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I that, feel that way, deal. You feel me? So it's like, you know, these words and like listening to people like him and, right. and, and like just the way, you know, just the, like, I, I wanted to be like a lyricist, but I didn't want to get put in that lyricist category where it's like that, like backpacker. That's right. all he, you know what I mean? Right. So it was just my way of like showing the different sides of me. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the history I've been through, the singing, the, you know, just the way I hear melodies. Sometimes I want to sing on it, and then I want to rap on it too. You know what I mean? I can't you help myself. compared a lot to Drake. Not a lot, because of that, but that whole singing and rapping thing. Because right now he's the only one. You know, know what, the right? You know what it is? Is that when it just it's I started singing and rapping back in like oh eight oh seven, and you, you just they out there. You can see them. You know what I mean? The, the, the tapes is out there. So I don't like when people say that is because there's nobody else doing it to like. So it's like you have no one else to compare them right. to. Like it's like he. He he probably didn't start singing and rapping first, but he probably did. But the fact that he got famous first is why he gets accredited with it. I've been taught singing in a traditional sense. Like I've, I started listening to like other bands and the way they sing, like outside the genre, and and it's so different. Like Tom York or Radiohead or or Portishead. Like there's a lot of bands out there that they just do different things. They, they they don't they don't attack verse hook verse. You know what I mean? And like I I like that kind of singing. But rapping to me is just the essence because I'm a hip hop. Like, I'm hip hop. Like, that's, that's what I was raised on. Like, well, so I always got to come back well, to you. You know what you are to me? You're a musician. That, because okay. you have many heads. See, we don't have musicians anymore. No we have okay. people that characterize as in this box, in yeah. that box. You a brother that could go to each side of the lane. Yeah. So, by doing that, you will get your, you'll go higher more what you do now than somebody that's want to just rap or somebody right. that's want to sing. You could do both. So you're a musician to me. And that's why I had a hard time, you know, like coming up as an artist because people didn't know where to place me. It was like, you know, if we do a rap show, but then he got still, you know, we don't know what to do with him. But then it's like, you know, it was yeah. like a hard time. And when they do that, they try to confuse Right. And then, then you it was to start, oh, my, my, my people want me to be this. And sometimes yeah. you well, want to start doing it because what they want you to do, right. but you ain't doing what you want to do. Right. And I never so, really cracked. You know what I mean? I just said, you know, if you don't like it, you know, it's a whole bunch of other music you listen to. Like, How you know would I mean? you describe your sound? I mean, you definitely hear New York in it because, like, you know, it, that's what kind of, like, the home base is. Right. But I try to take off so far from here. You know right. what I mean? Like, I try to really, like, just go somewhere else with it and like, you know, talk about things that people don't normally talk about, you know, and like, I, I don't live the same thing. I, I can talk about, you know, the same thing people talk about, but it's, I choose to do it differently. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the way it comes out, you know? Well, you it's already like, talked about cheese, so you already know. You can't <laughs> talk about anything. Right. You know? Exactly. Let's you know talk about your new single and your new album, Mixtape. All right, cool. Um, I mean, I, I don't got a single. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't. I've never really worked that way. That's the thing. Like, that's my problem. That's probably why. You know, it's like, I, <laughs> like yeah, like, like, that, that to me is so old school way of thinking. Like, that's okay. so. Um, like I said, with the TV, everything's or changing. Or lazy work. Cause it's just it's, a single. No, it's because what it is is it's saying this is your best song. Oh. You know what I mean? Right. This is the song that I think is the best song for you right. to make money with and do. And that to me is like. You think all your songs? Yeah, I think all my songs right, can do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like y'all just it's a I think I think any musician would say all their songs. But not, but not in a, not in a, not in a biased way. Just in a way that it's like a piece of you. So it's like it's an extension. It's like yo, they're gonna let any one of these songs. Look, perfect example. J Cole just put out an album, Forest Hills Drive, and he had no singles on that. Not one. He did like a video and a half, maybe. And because of his platform, sure, he sold a lot. But the point is that that showed people that you don't have to follow the structure that, that these old people set up. Like, it's, it's the, the record industry is a whole new game now. Like, you can't even, like, everybody's subsidizing into smaller and smaller, all falling under the same umbrella because it's hard. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same thing I'm saying. That's why I don't blame them. They're trying to survive just like we are. You know what I mean? So it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, people are always in that, like, find a way to put you in a box or something, somewhere because that they don't know how to leave you somewhere. They, they have to com they compartmentalize, right? right? Like, they have to put you in a file cabinet and they bring it somewhere. You know, or else it's, it's not gonna, you know? Hold on, we got a few minutes left this second. But well, uh, I gotta say this, I mean, you can do this one minute, but I mean, we, 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 change, we change the format to let you just 
just elaborate, but it's just deep. Where do you see yourself in the next three to five years? I mean, obviously, you, you've done the reality thing. You've got a promising, funny, musical career. Probably can do some more acting if you want. Probably can run for government if you chose to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. Yeah, politics and control something. There you go. There you go. You definitely can have it, man. I'm not just saying that because you're sitting on that red couch. I appreciate that. But talk about the, the game plan of the future for Audubon. JP, where, where do you see yourself in the five years as an artist, as a person, as a professional, as an entertainer? Honestly, I see this is a lot going on upstairs right now. Like, you I know, can see it while we're talking. Yeah. I can see your head spinning. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's definitely musically, I'm going to be, I'm definitely going to be like where I, okay, I'm going to not be comfortable, but I'm going to be where I feel like I want to be. Like, which is basically just world touring. You know what I mean? Like already been established an artist and, and, and have that strong fan base. Because it's really just finding my fans. Like once I can, I don't have to have a million fans. If I got fifty thousand fans in the world, that's a show I could throw a thousand in the, every city. Got a thousand people. Now that's I'm a concert right like there. Dallas, dirty sprite in my chalice. Dirty guns at the palace with my bra be the baddest. Let my John do the bagging. Even toe tagging, feed a gold carriage, such a beautiful savage, uh. I grab her by the neck and I lick her whole face. At a party, all her girls sniff the whole eighth. Russian thing, Conrad always keep a snowflake. And I be trying to keep it pimping for her whole sake. But she got me tripping like I'm overweight. I had to get a grip, it was slipping away. I always put dollars first, I never thought that would change. Feelings try to take over, I'm always keeping them tame. And things don't go as planned, shit get rearranged. I'm ready for whatever down in Philippines. Said I wasn't going down like the ones who slain.